a rolling mill is a combination of machinery used for deforming metal in rotary rolls and performing certain auxiliary operations such as transportation of stock to rolls disposal after rolling cutting cooling melting piling up and coiling etc in a rolling mill a set of rolls in their massive housing is called a rolling stand or simply a mill stand these rolling mills are classified according to the number of rolls in the working stand and hence on the basis of the same we have six basic classification for a rolling mill first being a two high rolling mill a three high mill a four high mill then we have a cluster a rolling mill a planetary a rolling mill and last but not the least a tandem a rolling mill now let's discuss them one by one first is a two high rolling mill as the name implies it has two rolls with a constant direction of rotation about the horizontal axis now for successive reduction the work material or the stock is returned to the entrance of the rolls with by means of a platform or by conveyor rolls or even by hands which can be further be raised to pass by the rolls the upper roll may be raised or lowered down to change the distance between the rolls and hence adjusting the reduction of the work material this method of successive reductions slows down the process and hence we have a alternate method which we call a two high reversing rolling mill where the direction of rotation of the rolls is reversed after each pass however in this kind of rolling mill the power consumption is tremendous and this design is limited by the length that can be rolled and by the inertial forces that must be overcome each time a reversal is made now there are certain disadvantages regarding too high reversing mill so eradicate those disadvantages we have a three high rolling mill in which three rolls with a constant direction of rotation are arranged in a single vertical plane and lifting or tilting tables are provided on one or both sides of the stand to raise and lower the bar after each pass in these kind of mills the top and bottom rolls are drive rolls which are actually getting driven by power supply however the middle roll is rotating purely by friction this kind of mills are employed as blooming mills for billet rolling and finish rolling and then we have a four high rolling mill or we also call it backup rolling mill here the diameter of work rolls are kept small as small as possible to reduce the force and the power requirement and hence to avoid bending of this small size rolls due to their low strength and rigidity large diameter backup rolls are installed and this results into a four high rolling mill the backup rollers here are not driven they are driven by the smaller rolls and hence there is no external power supply to the backup rollers and next we have cluster a rolling mill a cluster rolling mill is just a advanced version of backup rolling mill or a four high rolling mill here a number of backup rollers are employed to further reduce the force and power that is being imparted 
on the actual roles and here also the backup roles are not driven by any external power they are driven by the smaller roles itself and next we have planetary rolling mill this mill consists of a pair of heavy backing rolls which is surrounded by a large number of small planetary rolls the main feature of this mill is that it reduces a slab to coiled strip in a single pass and last but not the least we have tandem rolling mill where successive reduction of the size of the work material can be accomplished initially the work material enters a big rolling stand a big stand having big rollers and gradually the size of the rolls gets smaller and the size of the work material as well